Today one snow cringy intro. Today I'll be looking at the nations with a lot of snowballing potential. Which you could play in Aids of Civilizations too. Okay, let's get right into it. I'll be excluding very obvious nations from the list like Russia, China, USA, just because they're too powerful. So I'll be just looking at not very looking at nations which you won't really expect to do so well. So at number 10 we have Indonesia. Now Indonesia really starts off quite strong, I have to agree. But with Indonesia, the good thing is there's a lot of neighbors with, which are quite small and have potential to kill. So you've got uh, East Timor, Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore, as well as Papua New Guinea, which you can easily take out. But from there on, expansion is a little, a little annoying. You'll have to probably go to Southeast Asia, which is possible. But starting off as an island nation is not as fun. So I think rank 10 is a fair rank. At number 9, we have Sweden. Now, Sweden in the long run will have a good start, but the beginning is not as easy actually. So, you can easily take out Denmark if you want. You can go for the Baltic nations, but after Norway and Finland won't be that easy to kill, and you'll have a big, scary neighbor. So, fin Sweden, after it kills off the Scandinavian country, can be quite powerful and can start taking out Europe, but, but the beginning won't be as easy. At number 8, we have Kazakhstan Boratland. Now Kazakhstan is very interesting because it actually looks like a nation with very good potential but only has neighbors to the south and could take out Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, all the stands, probably with relative ease, get a little harder when you're trying to get Iran or Pakistan but those beginning neighbors will be easy to kill. But the problem is you always have to be scared of a big blue and red neighbor who just want to kill you if you just don't behave well. So Kazakhstan is a bit of a risky pick but if you play it well you can become super powerful. At rank 7 we have Thailand. Now Thailand I really like this pick because you can expand quite easily in the beginning and have good options. So first of all Cambodia should be easy to kill off, Malaysia probably is not impossible, Laos and then you already are the size where you can take out Vietnam and Myanmar. And after that you already have quite a strong uh, Southeast Asia and can decide to go for Bangladesh and maybe ask Pakistan to attack India with you. So Thailand has quite a good start to go afterwards and you can also expand to the south and take the Philippines. But again, one problem is big red blob above you. At rank 6 we have a very interesting one which will be Poland. So Poland starts off quite decent, 42 provinces, and Poland has a lot of small neighbors. Poland already gets into one of those which can snowball super well. So you can start off by just instantly taking out Slovakia and Czech Republic, which are quite easy, probably Slovakia first. After you can go to Lithuania and the Baltic nations, Belarus should be a lot weaker after you then. And then you can snowball into the Balkans, you can snowball anywhere, you really are strong. And at rank number 5 we have Luxembourg. Now Luxembourg can easily expand into Germany and France, very weak neighbors. The Netherlands and the Belgium should fall super soon after that, the world domination will not be an issue. At rank number 5 we have South Africa. Now South Africa has a very easy start, you can kill off Swaziland and Lesotho pretty easy. After that Zimbabwe is probably unique neighbor, and then after that Botswana and if you've killed all these nations this, this, is not, this is just lake, yeah it's lake. After that Namibia should be doable and yeah then from then on the enemies get a little stronger but you'll have a super strong start and you already start off quite good. So if you have provinces if you look at the likes of Namibia you should be able to take them out and after Mozambique is actually kind of dangerous. So easy start with South Africa. At rank number 4 we have the Saudis. Now the Saudis already start off with 56 provinces, pretty strong, 35th strength and strongest in the world. And they have so much expansion possibility, they can easily take out Qatar and Bahrain, as well as Kuwait. The United Arab Emirates should all be very easily doable, Yemen, Jordan. You have so many directions to expand, the assimilation will be a problem because you can spawn a lot of uh, units because you have a lot of core territory around these places. You can easily expand in all directions, the Middle East should be easily done. Jordan, Israel, Gaza, Lebanon, Syria very soon should be taken out and after that you could just snowball into this massive thing. At rank number 3, and this nation is only rank number 3 because I think it's already too big to start off with, so you have Brazil. The already one of the top 10 nations. Brazil is so easy. You could easily take out the Guyanas, you can take Guyana, Guyana, maybe the French Guyana. No, oh, that's just independent thing. Well, all these nations very easily take out. Well, Paraguay, Uruguay, super easy to kill. Bolivia after that, Peru. It's, uh, yeah, Brazil is quite self-explanatory, super easy to do. Alternatively, Argentina could be an interesting pick. 
because you can easily take out Uruguay, Paraguay, then Bolivia, and then after Chile. One of these two should be up here. At number two, we have a nation which is probably expected to come on this list, and that is Turkey. Turkey starts off with 71 provinces, is ranked 12 in the world, and has so much expansion possibilities. Bulgaria is the easy target, as well as uh, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia. These nations are very easily killable. After it can snowball into the Balkans, so you take out Bulgaria, you take out these nations. After that, you can easily take out the Balkans. You can expand in a lot of directions at once. Take this territory, take this territory, take the Balkans. Super easy. Good start with Turkey. Such an amazing snowball if you want to. And at rank 1, we have the mightiest of them all. We have Andorra. And the capital is Andorra Ravella with 13,000 population. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, Andorra. And at rank number 1, it'll be probably a surprise, but for me, it's. Democratic Republic of Congo. Now Congo starts off with so many weak neighbors which are so easy to kill. So Burundi and Rwanda both should be like a matter of seconds you can take them out. After that Uganda is a super weak neighbor. You can expand in almost every direction so easily. So you can expect, expand to the east, you can expand to the north. Central African Republic isn't that strong. You can expand to your west with Republic of Congo and Gabon which all easily take out. It will come around. It will be very easy as well as South Sudan. You have no immediate threat. Zambia actually isn't that strong. Angola is little. You kind of take them out. It's the very first nation, but if you play your cards accordingly, the whole of Africa should be so soon to you. And the big advantage with Congo is you start off with core territory, which is surrounding all these neighbors. So you everywhere will start off with decent amount of units enough to assimilate forever, so you actually can expand. So expansion with Congo will be super smooth. I hope you can have some fun with these picks. Really snow into an AOC2 beast country. Like and subscribe, go watch my other videos, have a nice day and bye!